Morning. Reactions to new accusations during a last minute public hearing of the January 6th committee. A former top aide to Trump's chief of staff, Mark Meadows, testifying White House officials knew there was a risk of violence and that attendees at the president's rally had weapons. The aide, Cassidy Hutchinson, tells the committee stories about conversations she had, others she overheard, and some she was told about, including a tense moment between the president and a Secret Service agent. ABC's Jay O'Brien takes a look. This morning, the January 6th committee's investigation thrust into a higher gear after the explosive testimony of Cassidy Hutchinson, a 26-year-old former aide to Trump White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, as rioters stormed the Capitol chanting, Hang Mike Pence. Hutchinson recounting White House counsel Pat Cipollone, the president's top lawyer, pleading with Chief of Staff Mark Meadows to get former President Donald Trump to respond. I remember Pat saying something to the effect of, Mark, we need to do something more. They're literally calling for the vice president to be effing hung. And Mark had responded something to the effect of, you heard him, Pat. He thinks Mike deserves it. And earlier, Hutchinson recalling Trump's anger that his Stop the Steal rally wasn't full, ordering the metal detectors be removed to allow more people in, some with weapons. I overheard the president say something to the effect of, you know, I, I don't effing care that they have weapons. They're not here to hurt me. Take the effing mags away. Let my people in. Hutchinson then telling the committee a story she heard secondhand from another White House aide, saying as Trump got into his presidential vehicle leaving the rally, he was told he could not go to the Capitol and erupted, lunging for the steering wheel and allegedly assaulting a Secret Service agent. Mr. Engel grabbed his arm, said, sir, you need to take your hand off the steering wheel. We're going back to the West Wing. We're not going to the Capitol. Mr. Trump then used his free hand to lunge towards Bobby Engel. The Secret Service saying they'd like to respond to this claim under oath, a source telling ABC News to expect the agents will refute the assault allegations. Trump responding with a flurry of posts on his social media app, claiming he hardly knew Hutchinson and calling her a phony. Jay O'Brien, ABC News, Washington.